happy Mother's Day. I am going to spend the day sewing. And Danielle asked uh, for me to show where I am stuffing all my sewing stuff. So first of all, I uh, have a little Yazzie bag that uh, has all my essential sewing pens, uh, any items that I might need while I'm sitting up front. I keep my uh, embroidery hoop in the door jam down by the passenger side door. And this coffee table slash ice chest usually sits between G and I when we're on the road and the chairs are turned the other way. And when we are camped somewhere, we use this as our coffee table. It actually does not hold any ice or snacks, but in fact holds my sewing machine. So my rulers, um, these are kits to make, uh, I pre-cut these to make uh, fabric bowls because Julie, one of the fabric stalkers, taught us at the last retreat how to do that. I have uh, my fusible for my wool, my binder for my block of the month, uh, Sue Spargo Cuppa 2016 and my featherweight. So today I'm going to be doing some machine sewing. So I'll be getting that out. Then this is my cabinet for my sewing purchases. And in it, um, G actually uh, found these sweet little spring-loaded braces to keep everything from flying out. But, um, and they work great. I have a Yazzie bag filled with all of my thread for Sue Spargo. I have all of my Valdani thread in one of these um, Hot Wheels boxes that I got from Joann's. I found this M&M container at a convenience store on the road and I had to buy it so we had to eat all the M&Ms so I could put needles and things in there. I just thought that was a cute little container. And then these baskets hold my tools like ironing, rotary cutter, my light, And on the other side, I have my projects, and today I will be starting on block four of the 2015 Designer Mystery Block of the Month by Fat Quarter Shop that my friend Lori and I signed up for. So today is a so day to do one of these. And I'll be showing you that later. And then I have books and magazines and uh, different purchases that I have made. And it's getting tight because I'm running out of space. I have wool and kits and fun things that I've gotten. So far has fit, fit but nothing else is going to fit. But G says I have one cubic foot underneath the couch and so that's where I'm gonna fill the rest of my stuff on the road next you'll see me sewing a block Enzo is hiding under the table where I'm going to sew so I'm going to have to squeeze in here a little bit. I um, pre-cut these blocks, if you saw from the very first video, and they're all labeled. This allows me not to have to cut unless I absolutely had to. That quarter shop is amazing for their block of months because I cut out the entire block and every piece is labeled 
the instructions are very clear and I still have all this fabric left over. I could make a whole nother block. I love those block of the months from that quarter shop. So let's turn it on and see how we do. Yay! I'm going to be sewing. One of the things about being away from home this long is you think about your friends. And so I know my friend Lori's doing this block of the month. Another fabric stalker gave me this adorable little red felt holder, you know, soft spot for my thread. Nancy, another fabric stalker, convinced me to get this cup when we were um, at Empty Spools last year, and I have taken this cup everywhere with me. It's absolutely great, and it's called a Turvis Cup. I guess that's how you say it. And then I also am going to be listening to my book by phone. I use Overdrive, and I've checked out a book from the Multnomah County Library and it is called uh, A Man Named Ova and I love this book. If you remember I read the hundred year old man who climbed out the window and disappeared and this is also by a Swedish author and so I'm going to be listening to this book on phone while I sew. I finished my first block. It is block four and it was not done without a little bit of frustration. Uh, one of the things I learned is that when you're cutting, pre-cutting a block of the month out, you have to make sure that 
you cut the number of pieces they told you to cut and not just one of every piece. So I did have to cut some of these pieces by drawing them the old-fashioned way, how they used to draw their blocks and cut them with scissors. And I am unable to find at this point what I did with my ironing board, cutting board combination. So I have to dig that out from someplace. So it's not pressed yet, but block four is done on my mom's old sewing machine.